and welcome to today's tip. Now what we are going to be using today is some beautiful old, I've got some really old children's books here from the op shop and um, I don't usually cut up such beautiful books but half of them have got their pages missing and I thought oh, they would be really fantastic on a scrapbook page. So what I've got is got a lovely clear black and white photo, really upfront. Um, sort of close to the lens photo so it's not busy that's really key for this project got a couple of stamps that I have recently made actually um, and I'll show you that in another tip or another class but I really wanted to focus down on how to draw out the best from your leftover books or scrap magazines and things like that what I'm looking for is photos or pictures that complement my photo. So I'm going to go through, I've got this lovely um, image here that I'm going to pull out. That's a round shape, so it's going to match the round shape of my photograph. And I think I will get my die cut machine just to give me a perfect circle. And then any other small little images and words that match my photo. So I've got this, I'm just making sure that I'm not cutting anything from behind there. I've got children are still asleep, which is perfect for this particular photo. So I'm just going to cut that out. So basically I'm gonna go through and come find some words and some images that I really think will suit my scrapbook um, page. And then I will show you how I will put it together. Okay, so as you can see, I've got carried away and I've nearly finished this layout now. But what I've done is I've gone through and I've used my lovely circle die to sort of chop everything down into a really nice succinct sort of pattern. I have also found some really fab words, children are still asleep and their mothers are up early. Now I found that all inside that book. So it's really fantastic to bring it all together like that. I have used my stamps just to create a bit of a picture. I feel like it's a bit busy with the word will, so I'm gonna take that out because it's just getting a little bit clustered. And looking at it as well, I'm just going to recluster my circles. They're too spread out, and when everything's too spread out, it takes your focus off your photo and what you wanna draw attention to. I'm gonna tuck everything in just that little bit more so that we're drawn in. I don't mind the decoration of the um, background stamps. I think that adds to it without taking too much away, but I just wanted to show you that slight adjustment. So there's a really lovely layout created using secondhand books um, from your charity shop or your op shop, and um, what a great result. So I hope you've enjoyed this tip, and I look forward to seeing you next time.